Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is on a fascinating topic that I'm sure you won't want to miss. We'll be exploring the story of how German paratroopers failed to capture Fort Ebena Mail during World War II. This event is often cited as a turning point in the war and has captured the attention of historians and military enthusiasts alike. But what went wrong? How did such a seemingly unstoppable force fail to achieve their objective? Join us as we delve deeper into this captivating story and uncover the strategies, tactics, and events that led to the Germans' downfall. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get started. The story of how German paratroopers failed to capture Fort Ebena Mail is a fascinating one, full of twists and turns that ultimately led to their defeat. It all began in May of 1940, when the German army was making its way through. Belgium, pushing back the Allied forces. They knew that Fort Ebena Mail, located near the Dutch border, would be a crucial obstacle to overcome if they were going to be successful in their campaign. The fort was a formidable structure, built to withstand any attack. It was considered one of the most heavily fortified positions in Europe, with an array of guns, mortars, and machine guns that covered every angle. It was also situated on high ground, giving its defenders an excellent view of the surrounding area. To overcome this obstacle, the Germans came up with a daring plan. They would use paratroopers to land on the roof of the fort and take it by surprise. This was a risky move, as it had never been done before, but they believed it was their best chance of success. On the morning of May 10, 1940, the paratroopers were dropped from the sky in gliders that had been towed by planes. They landed on the roof of the fort and quickly took out the defenders. It seemed like the plan was working perfectly, and the Germans would soon have control of the fort. However, things quickly took a turn for the worse. The paratroopers soon discovered that they were unable to penetrate the fort's thick walls. They had not been prepared for this contingency and had no way of breaking through. Meanwhile, the Belgian army had regrouped and was preparing to launch a counterattack. The paratroopers were trapped on the roof of the fort, surrounded by enemy forces. They had no way to escape and were quickly running out of supplies. The situation was becoming desperate, and it seemed like they would be doomed to their fate. Despite these setbacks, the paratroopers refused to give up. They continued to fight, using every weapon at their disposal. They were determined to hold out for as long as possible and make the enemy pay for every inch of ground they took. In the end, their efforts were in vain. The Belgian army launched a massive assault on the fort, overwhelming the defenders and forcing them to surrender. The paratroopers were taken prisoner, and the Germans were forced to retreat. The failure to capture Fort Ebena Mail was a significant setback for the German army. It showed that even their most daring plans could be foiled by enemy defenses. It also demonstrated the bravery and determination of the Belgian soldiers, who were able to hold their ground against overwhelming odds. Today, Fort Ebena Mail stands as a testament to the bravery of those who defended it. It is a reminder that even the most formidable defenses can be breached, and that victory is never guaranteed. The story of the German paratroopers who failed to capture it serves as a cautionary tale for all those who would seek to conquer the impossible.